OG with Rizzard-Gamer.com. With me today, I have, I'm over here at Comericon, and we are talking with... Alan Muerte Presley. Now, Muerte, you are running a very elaborate setup here with these uh, mech pods. Uh, what can you tell me about them? Well, what we have here is a network of virtual world Tesla 2 Battletech simulator pods. You're driving a three-story, 75-ton walking tank that you and your friends can, can network together. And uh, it's what we like to call family therapy without all the scars. Family therapy without all the scars. It's a great way to spend a night out with family and beat each other up. You can bring your friends and family and pwn all of them. Pwn those bitches. Now, this setup here, is it sort of a... Um, uh, do you have like a land center where you just have all these pods going at, at at once? Yes, we're actually based in Houston, Texas on the west side of town uh, on Highway 6 near Clay Road where actually we have 12 pods available throughout the week, seven days a week. Uh, this is just our smaller set of travel, what we call our mobile armor division pods. So we travel around to different conventions across uh, the United States. Uh, there's actually three different mobile sets that run around the country. Uh, they go to all types of conventions, sci-fi, comic, gaming, anime. Uh, so we're all over the place. Now, let, let's say I'm having a little get-together, you know. Uh, just me and a couple of random guys are like, hey, let's get some pods in here. Um, how much would it be to get four pods into, well, I mean, not all the way down to, over here in San Antonio, but let's say we're in Houston. How much would it be for, like, travel and expenses to get four pods at a location? It does depend on the amount of time you need. It does depend on the distance, of course, because we have a lot of weight to move and the staff to do it. I don't have, the best thing to do is just uh, contact us at admin at metcore.com and uh, we'll help set up something. Now, from what I was told yesterday, you guys have a couple of badasses, uh, a whole team that does take on other people. Because uh, it, it, from what I was, I was told, this was really big, and then it kind of uh, dropped down a bit when it comes to popularity. But you still got a group of people that are competitive um, for your for your group. Oh yeah, we we have a really hardcore uh, group of, of pilots. Uh, actually, we have at Comericon, we actually have two BattleTech masters. Uh, that are on our mobile team. Uh, Comericon has a quest where they ask their people if they want to come and take on the champions here just to see how well they do. We allow them to come on, bring whatever they want to bring, uh, and take on our masters to see how well. So far we've had four different attempts, none of which have passed. And hey, what game are you running in there? Well, the, the, the game is called Battletech Firestorm. Uh, it's a, it came out in 2000. Uh, it's, that, it's what we call version 5. Uh, this, this game has actually been around since 1988 and has different versions come along. Uh, but the, the, this, this software is like MechWarrior 4, but it's customized for the use in the pods. Now, um, let's, can we get a quick rundown of the, the setup in here? All right, go ahead and tell us about the, the setup. All right, what we have is a throttle, controls your speed. We have, basically, it's like a, a gas pedal from slow to fast, reverse button that you hit and push forward to go fast in reverse. Over here, we have a joystick that allows you to turn left and right, look up and down. We have missiles. We have guns. We have other, bu other buttons here for higher levels of the game. What we do, if you've never piloted before, we put you in a trainer mode, which keeps it very simple, point and shoot. If you can see up here, we have radar, and we have your main windscreen for the robot. We also have five MFDs that, uh, that will light up and give you tactical readouts of all the systems in this robot. How... How long does it take to set one of these up? Uh, I mean, uh, do, do you guys build them yourself, or does someone, or does a manufacturer build them and you just buy them from there? 
These were originally uh, built by Virtual World Entertainment. Uh, we just happened to own the largest uh, dealer, not dealer, uh, the largest owner operator of these pods. And uh, we go to different conventions with these. Um, but uh, Virtual World, go to virtualworld.com and you can see the mother company for the pods. Uh, we just are fans. We've been playing this since early 90s. Uh, and we're just addicts. And we just bought into the company. All right. Well, hopefully we are, we're going to try this out in, uh, in a little bit in some four-player action. Um, but we'll see how that turns out. Thank you again, Morte. Thank you. And what's the website again? Well, it's right there. Netcore.com. Or you can go to getinthepods.com to see our convention tours. All right. Thank you again, sir. Thank you.